High blood pressure or hypertension is often called the silent killer because it can manifest for years without any symptoms. And yet, hypertension puts individuals at higher risk of heart disease, stroke, myocardial infarction, kidney disease, dementia or cognitive impairments, visual impairments, sexual dysfunction, and death. There are many risk factors for hypertension. Modifiable risk factors, so those that can be changed or controlled, include smoking, diabetes, dyslipidemia and high cholesterol, obesity, physical inactivity, and an unhealthy diet. Risk factors which are less easily changed include chronic kidney disease, family history, increased age, low socioeconomic status, male sex, obstructive sleep apnea, and psychosocial stress. But just how high is too high when it comes to blood pressure? Most countries and regions have their own guidelines when it comes to hypertension, but they're generally quite similar. In this MedMastery course, we'll focus on the guidelines set out by the American College of Cardiology, or ACC, and the American Heart Association, or AHA, in 2017. The ACC AHA guidelines classify hypertension into four stages. Not surprisingly, a blood pressure of less than 120 over 80 is considered optimal. A pressure in the range of 120 to 129 over less than 80 is considered elevated. A pressure from 130 to 139 over 80 to 89 is classified as stage 1 hypertension, while pressures of greater than 140 over greater than 90 are classified as stage 2 hypertension. If the patient's systolic and diastolic blood pressures fall into two different categories, they should be classified in the higher category. For example, a patient with a blood pressure of 124 over 87 should be considered to have stage 1 hypertension. These stages can help us determine when and how to go about treating hypertension. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.